Yo, what's up Freeze Army and welcome to a very special video. We have the Gilded Cage mission and we're going to do this Silent Assassin. Suit only, no knockouts, no loadout, from the main entrance only and no coin throwing. So we're going to attempt all that and also we're only allowed to kill the targets with the Battle Axe. So that's the special uh, twist on this particular mission. It was not a walkthrough, we're just going to basically take you through each step, what I would really do really from part to part. So at this point all I'm trying to do is go and grab the key card, and there is one up here on the table which you're going to have to listen to a conversation first this woman has, and then we're going to do a bit of sneaky sneaky and go around and go pick that up. The next step is for us to go and retrieve the battle axe and go and take it to the consulate buildings but we can't just walk the battle axe through the crowd, obviously not because we will get spotted, uh, but there is a special way we can do this, uh, it's the only way I've found you can you can do it anyway. And so this is what I'm going to do. So in order for me to get this battle axe to the other side of this area over here, towards the consulate building, we're going to need to lob it over this all over this ledge. I always try and aim for the bin down there, but uh, I don't tend to hit it, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to throw that axe down there, and I'm going to come down and go all the way over there and retrieve it. Now we've got our axe, we're going to go and try and get inside the building and we're going to use the key card that we already obtained earlier. And uh, this section is not too difficult. Um, there's two different kinds of uh, trespassing you can be. You could be in a trespassing area, which the guards and people that see you don't really react to too much, which you can take advantage of that, which is exactly what I do. 
and there's a hostile area which they really act a lot more quicker to you and it's much harder to sneak around but we take advantage of the trespassing uh, area and the slow uh, suspicion meter that comes up and this is we easily can sneak past then we enter the into the garage here you made it. and it Most turns into a hostile area which makes it a lot now more to difficult to pass but luckily there is a nice little uh, route you can take here just by bypassing all the guards. So we're going to head, head into the consulate building and we're going to try and head towards the target. So we're going to head our way up the stairs. I'm going to show you my loadout again, like, just to show you that I'm not carrying anything else. I'm just carrying my battle axe. I'm going to head up the stairs. And what I'm going to need to do is do a bit of waiting time. So I will speed that up for you guys. So all we need to do is just make our way to the end here. I have all these uh, guards routes mapped out now in my head. So I know exactly when to go and what not to do. Again, we're taking advantage of the trespassing uh, meter here and just sneaking past. The guard is looking directly at us, but you can't actually actively spot us. So we're going to just speed this up a little bit because there's a lot of waiting time. So here we go. So when we're going to play it from there, this is when um, the target is coming out of his room. We're going to need to open the door and create a distraction. So we're going to throw the battle axe while the door, the door is open. Quickly close it, pick up the battle axe and hide behind the door. I cannot tell you how many times I was going to go and try and retrieve the battle axe and accidentally hitting the, the uh, fire alarm. So that takes care of one target, now we're going to have to retrace our steps, leave that axe there, and head our way to the second target. Now as we come down these stairs I'm going to pick up the uh, wrench and I'm going to pick up the crowbar because we're going to need to create a couple of distractions towards the end of the level so I'm going to keep them in my inventory just these uh, just to get past those final areas so that's all I'm using these for that's all I'm going to do. So now we're just basically heading back to the area we started from and we're going to try and retrieve the other battle axe which is in the area where the school is. So to do that we're going to head towards where the headmaster is and do a bit of sneaky sneaky past him and we'll, we'll move on from that section. How's your father? 
doing well. Thanks for asking. Now, with this headmaster up here, I absolutely cannot stand him. I want to shoot him in the head repeatedly with a shotgun because he must have eagle vision. I tried and tried again to try and get my way back through this route, and it's, it seems like I, could, I just cannot do it. Because it, it's just, no matter what distractions I used, he kept uh -huh. spotting me, no matter what. So I found an alternative route to get out of here. But luckily, so we only have to go through here once, so luckily, on, that's the case. And also, sometimes I'm, I forgot to pick up that key, which was really irritating. But yeah, we're going to drop up on this ledge, and we're going to go around and pick up the second battle axe. And that's when we're going to head towards our second target, and set that up. When I actually come through this area on previous uh, runs, the, in, on a couple of occasions I've tried to get through this door with just the key, but I accidentally used the uh, the crowbar and broke it open, and yeah, that means that I had to restart the whole thing again. Yeah, it wasn't very fun, but uh, we got there in the end. So I'll just turn on this intercom to distract the target. He's going to head his way up the stairs. I don't know why, because he's literally just around the corner. Again, this was a stressful part, because when he comes over and peeps down the hole, there is a security guard going up and down. Now, you need, I needed to time this perfectly to where... I didn't have to get spotted as I was taking this guy out because he's only staring over that hole for a limited amount of time. Luckily, I did it just perfectly, timed it. But it doesn't always work. Purely because the runs are sometimes random. And thankfully, once you attack him with the battle axe, he moves his body in the direction exactly where you want him to go, so that was quite convenient. So now we need to retrace our steps and just head out uh, and finish the finish the mission. This is where patient pays off in that, these, these kind of situations. I could have used a distraction, but I decided not to. And, and again, instead of heading back the uh, the same route I came, because the headmaster is a bit of a, a bit of an annoyance to get past, we're going to use that distraction right there, and that's going to distract the security guard over there, and that's when we're going to sneaky sneaky past him. Man, I got some weird shit flying around. stuff around. So that's us home free from this point, so all we've got to do is head to the exit and that will complete that. I really, really hope you enjoyed this. Um, it took a while for me to actually nail and do this. It can be doing a lot quicker if you start off on the rooftops, but I decided to add an extra challenge of doing no knockouts and all that kind of stuff. So really, again, really hope you enjoyed it. Um, 
it's basically a 500 subscri uh, subscriber special I forgot to actually mention it it's a big achievement for me I didn't I personally didn't think I was gonna get anywhere near 500 I hope myself it continues I hope it continues to grow and uh, I continue to try and help out the uh, Hitman community because I know there's a lot of people out there that need help I hope I can provide all the content that everybody needs from me so that's all we're going to do it for this video so thank you very much for watching again thank you very much for the 500 subscribers if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video then please subscribe to the channel I'll be doing a lot more of a uh, you know walkthroughs and these kind of specials on occasions maybe during live streams who knows I don't know I might do that yet I'm not completely decided but yeah so thanks very much for watching cheers <laughs>